Wow, we're live. Hey, you wonder what I'm doing out here on a Friday, Thursday afternoon. We're usually out here on Friday, but today, you know, we had so many problems broadcasting live last week. Uh, let's try Thursday afternoon and see what happens. And um, if we have a problem, then we broadcast tomorrow morning. If we don't, you'll be able to watch this anyway. So um, I wanted to get this to you as soon as possible. And today... Our lesson for today, let me just get this stuff out of my screen there, is focus and you will excel. Focus and you will excel. John Maxwell said, put 80% of your time into your top two or three main goals. How many of us get so stretched out that at times we wonder where we are, what we're doing, life just gets up bit crazy doesn't it and we attempt to do too many things and we end up not doing any of them very well now i know i can see you out there and you're smiling already because you know that's so true today i want to talk about focus and i want to talk about how we can use this great skill to take our business our life and our career to new levels of success the great andrew carnegie said said it very well in the statement, do one thing and do it well. And I say, do one thing and do it amazingly well. Sorry to cut you out there a minute. I want to make sure we were clear and bright. Uh, today's fast paced, high energy world. We all think we can do it all. And then some more yet. What we have learned is that those who focus have the greatest success. Andrew Carnegie was one of the richest men of all time, and he was very focused. So I'm going to tell you today, get focused. Get focused in and watch what happens to you, your business, your career, and your life. So with that, um, let's get rolling. Let's make sure I have this correct. Oh, I'm on the wrong sheet again. How about that? I wanted to give you guys that overview, but uh, I wanted to see the live sheet. There we go. Okay. Who am I? I'm Coach Manny, and I help business owners to increase their sales by helping them build a sales process that works strategically, tactically, and accountability-wise. I do one thing, and that is... I help you to double your business. And that to me is, is what's really important for us to try to get you to. How do we get you to double your business? Because that is really where we need you. I mean, and, and that's really where you need to be. Uh, if you're struggling with generating business, if your sales team seems to be off peak, if you need to hire a salesperson or you've hired a salesperson or you've been very unsuccessfully doing it, this is what I do as I help companies. So thanks for being on the broadcast. The question for everyone out there today is, are you focused to excel? Are you focused to excel? That's the question for you. And if you're not, what are we going to do to focus you in so you will excel even more? For those um, joining us a little late, we're just having a little tech problem here. It looks like the broadcast uh, after last week's fiasco on a couple of broadcasts looks like we're good here. Let's just see. Yep, that's the question of today. I appreciate all of you who are out there with us today. Please share this with your friends, your acquaintances, people you know, share the broadcast, share what we're doing here. And if you enjoy it, send me a, a private message, send me a note, let me know. Hey, I like this. Can you teach on this? I like this, but what about this? We're here to um, help you and help you to grow. Again, if you join us a little later, our subject today is focus and you're gonna excel. How many of, of you out there are so stretched that sometimes you wonder, what am I doing? Am I going crazy? Well, you're not going crazy. Um, we want you to take that skills 
and we want you to start focusing in on a few things. And today I want to give you basically three points. And these three points are, are going to help you as you focus in, as you start to excel. Because when you get focused, you are going to be amazed at what happens to you and what happens to your organization as it begins to grow. So let's get started. Point number one, today has all you need to work on right now. And you know what, I'm gonna share these, I think, out here for you today, um, because I always like to do that just as a way um, to keep you guys in, in the focus mode here today. Point number one, today has all you need to work on right now. Now you may ask, really, what's that mean? Well, how many of you know Og Mandino, and I love Og and, and some of his books, and he said, really, this, he said, tomorrow lies buried within yesterday, and I'm going to think of it no more. Concentrate 100% on what you have to deal with today. And ask yourself, because we're broadcasting from the East Coast at about 5 p.m., and we ask ourselves right now, what, what did I concentrate on today? And if you can't answer that question with something that's growing your company, something that's taking you to a whole new level, then you need to be here today. So many of us worry about the future while we let today crumble apart. You need to focus on today. You need to call that prospect back. You need to make that appointment. I don't care if it's 10 minutes after five, do it right now. You need to call that prospect back. You need to get that proposal done because that proposal has been sitting on your desk for a while. And we're all guilty of that. In fact, I got one I got to work on tonight myself. Stop chasing the shiny object. You know how we always say we chase that, they have that shiny object syndrome. Go to work on what you have right now. And, you know, my famous, most, um, the, the person I, the, the, the most important in, in everything that I look at, of course, is Jesus, you know, where I am. And uh, he put it real simply 2,000 years ago. Take, therefore, no thought about tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient is the day for the evil thereof. Even 2,000 years ago, people were worrying about tomorrow instead of right now. And Jesus kind of focuses them in. And I'm trying to focus you in. You know what's going to happen to your business if you start worrying about today? Well, we've got this... Um, we got this great process for you called 90 Days to Success that um, we just released to the Entrepreneur Toolbox members today. Just released it today to Entrepreneur Toolbox members, and um, they're starting to work with it. So we're looking at a week, maybe 10 days, and it's going to be commercially available to all of you out there. But... The question I always have is, do you like what we're doing here? Is this something that might work for you? Are you learning? And so what if you could get a whole lot of more of this? And what if, like, we released the 90 Days to Success to Entrepreneur Toolbox members today for absolutely free because they were part of that membership, which cost $29 a month. Now... $29.97 a month, and you get access to everything we put out. It's amazing stuff. And they're also getting a bonus of some one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. So, listen, if you are interested in um, the Entrepreneur Toolbox, and listen, here it is, plain and simple. Get in today, and you also will get this tool that we're going to release absolutely free. And um, I can tell you it's going to cost at least, you know, eight to ten times what a, what a monthly membership costs. So, um, let's see if I have it right. Oh, I got the wrong one out there. I am sorry. I want to put this link out there because get in today 
or when you're watching this and guess what happens you are also going to be able to get in uh, and get the um, 90 days to success process uh, just for being a member so uh, I hope you will take us up on that one so there's the link okay we put that out there for you and let me keep teaching number two point number two is the process can make you lose your purpose. Wayne Barton put it this way, stay focused on your purpose and you don't get hung up on the process. You need to generate more business and to do that, you have to do more prospecting. Yet, you're sitting here thinking about it, right? Why? Because you're so focused on the process that you forgot that your purpose out there, the whole purpose of you being out there is to generate business, is to get more business, is to keep your um, company and your process rocking and rolling. Don't forget that. Your purpose is to make a hundred calls today because your boss and your process and your system and your company has determined that when you do that, it works. If you think between each call, oh, it's never going to happen. If you procrastinate between each call, if you hesitate between each call, you know what? You still be sitting there thinking about it and, and have made you know, 10 calls when you should have made a hundred. You don't know how many times I've worked with salespeople, right? And you walk in and one of the first questions we always ask new sales teams we're working with is, well, how many calls did you make today? And the answer is, oh, I made a bunch. Well, what's a bunch? You know, according to my stuff, you're supposed to make uh, 20 or 30 calls. Well, I made a bunch. And then we went back and we look and you know what they end up? They made four or five calls an entire day. Do you think that's going to work? It's never going to work if that's your job is to make calls. That stuff is just plain and simple. Never going to work. I've seen people spend 30 seconds on a call and then 30 minutes getting ready for the next one. Action creates success. Start taking action and focus on the outcome. And guess what? You're going to be just, you're just going to be amazed at what happens when you start focusing on that outcome. Get faster on your feet. You know, we need to prepare. And when we're doing calls and things like that, we need to prepare, but we need to be quick on our feet. And you, as the leader of the organization, you need to be getting your people quick on their feet. I, we used to do a lot of training of getting people to be fast on their feet. Put them in high-pressure situations. Put them in situations where you tell them about something, and then they have to explain it to somebody. And that develops so much. And I'm going to put a hook in here for Toastmasters uh, because I am an uh, active part of the Rowan Toastmasters uh, group that meets the second and the fourth Monday at 630 at the Rowan Tech Park over in Glassboro, New Jersey. And um, Toastmaster is just a great place to learn how to get quick on your feet. So I encourage you to come over. Uh, we, ha we have a special part of the meeting every day or every week in which you can actually learn this skill. So uh, come over. Join us. If you want more information, just uh, connect with me and I'll get you that. But get quick on your feet because it's a part of being successful in selling. Okay, no one, point number three, no one can get them all, nor do you want to. You see, as Tim Ferriss, and, and I know, uh, many of you probably have read The 4-Hour Workday, and so, you know, people either hate it or they love it or they think, man, that is like garbage or they think, wow, that is the greatest thing in the world. But I'm going to tell you, it's a great book to open your mind. And Tim Ferriss in his book says, if everyone is your customer, then no one is your customer. There is no business where everyone is a prospect. 
Everyone could be a prospect, but some are just so much better prospects. Some are so much more qualified. Some are just so much closer to wanting to buy, aren't they? Stop and remember that the tighter your niche, the greater your chance for success and the larger you can build your business. Most businesses I see out there, they're stretched out like this. They are one inch deep and a hundred miles wide when you should be one inch wide and a hundred miles deep. Just focus and watch what happens to your business. Just start doing, focusing on two or three things. I think that's where we started with the Maxwell quote way up here. Put 80% of your time into your two or three main goals and watch what happens to your business, your life, and your career. It's just amazing. Some Stop and remember the tighter your niche, the greater your chance for success, the larger you can build it. Define that tight market. Identify who they are. Identify all you can about them, and then go for the gold and put some action into it and be amazed. Focus is the key that it will help you be so much more successful. Stop, focus, and take action. Wow. How do you get your organization to this level? Uh, if you're a CEO, a business owner out there, are you interested in taking your organization to this level? Then I encourage you to sit down with me for 15 minutes. In fact, I'm going to give you a link right here. Another link that I want to share with you right now. And this link right here is going to take you um, to set up a 15-minute call with me if you want to learn anything about the process. So I encourage you to uh, take a look at it and, uh, you know, get that focus into your business. You, you are just going to play and be amazed at what happens when you focus in your business and you start rocking. So that's my call to action today. As always, we are offering two free courses and I will put both of them out there. Or, and you can get to them by this link. They're great products for you. Um, if you are building your business, if you are trying to define your market, if you are trying to focus, one of the most important places that you have to start is in defining your target market. You have to tighten that baby up so tight and get ready to roll. Hey, it's Coach Manny, and you know, we're here every week. We're usually out here at 1030 on Friday mornings, but after all the fiasco we had last week broadcasting on a lot of our other events as well, uh, I'm here. It's 520 in the afternoon. I hope this 20 minutes has been helpful for you, and I hope that you'll remember those three keys we talked about today, right? Today has all you need to work on right now, so stay in there. The process makes you lose your purpose at times. So forget the process and remember what your purpose is for being here. And the third point is no one can get them all, nor do they want to get them all. Three key points that we covered in today's uh, live show. Hey, I was excited to have you here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Please um, make sure that you share this across your um your timeline, and let people know about what we're here to do and how we're here to try and help your business to grow. I want you to focus, and I want you to think about getting into the Entrepreneur Toolbox. We're going to be rocking with the 90 Days to Success in the next few weeks, and uh, you'll hear more of it on this broadcast. We will see you next week at 1030 Friday. Or we might see you at 5 o'clock Thursday. Either way, thanks for being here, and thanks for being um, on the Coach Manny 